how she's going, folks. Once again, I'm never from the stack, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood IT basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am. I am from the internet. Today, we're checking out this Weiss terminal. This is a, a CXO unit. This is one of the older ones, and of course, you can tell because it has the PS2 mouse. I don't get why they put the DVI. Why wouldn't they put the VGA? Maybe they're trying to save some space. Like, I can understand why they'd want a better kind of video, but with the kind of the kind of hardware they got on the inside of this, it's like are you, you're dreaming if you think you're going to pull off some kind of high definition. Anyways, I pulled one of these apart and I found some interesting things in them. This is about the third or fourth unit that I've pulled apart. The fourth model. Now the thing about Weiss terminals, if you don't know, is that these things are supposed to be like dummy terminals. You get your uh, you get your mainframe and then you get your dummy terminal. This was supposed to be the dummy terminal to the mainframe. Some are more powerful than others. I was told a long time ago that this was going to replace my job. It still has not. It's interesting how this thing is all squished in like an Xbox would be. Anyways, I wanted to open it up and show you this. Look at all of this fun kibble in here. This is some interesting kibble. So pull out the RAM, DDR2. You're like, oh, how big is this? This is made in 2012, so this has got to be like a gig, right? No, no. No, my friend. 512 megs. Yep, that's right. Got to push out the awesome raw video power from this. So we got a big piece of copper right down here in order to shield the CPU. Nothing we can break out. But usually within these boards, there aren't anything that you can take off. At least none of the ones at this size that I've ever seen. So I'm really interested to see. We got an interesting Wi-Fi. And we got a really interesting hard drive here. But let's take a close look at that. That looks like it's plugged into an IDE spot. Let's get into that. Okay, so I swear I've never seen memory like this. Watch how it pulls out. Just like that. Just like that. IDE directly to a card. That's just freaking mind blowing. I've never seen anything like this before. Still trying to figure out how much memory we got on this thing, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's not more than a gig. That's for sure. Next up, we can see the Wi Fi. We only have one antenna, of course, that comes out to about nya. But man, that is an interesting form factor for it, isn't it? So I've never seen a mount like that before. There's basically nothing you can use in this thing, but it's always interesting to have a little bit of a look at what's on the inside, right? I gotta say, I am really fascinated by their use of copper. Normally they use aluminum or something there, right? And that is what the underside looks like. Not any interesting kibble down here. Unfortunately, but yeah, that's what we got when we get into this. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Enough from the stack, but thanks for joining me on this fantastic voyage to see all the interesting things that we can tear off of this Weiss terminal. I just wish more of it was more useful. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other, will you?